The South Korean and uh, United States militaries fired surface-to-surface -surface missiles early Wednesday local time in response to North Korea's latest ballistic missile provocation. The South Korean Defense Ministry said the militaries launched a total of four Army tactical missile systems toward the East Sea. The live fire drill was aimed at demonstrating precision strike capabilities against North Korea. North Korea conducted its longest ever weapons test on Tuesday, a nuclear-capable ballistic missile that flew over Japan and could reach the U.S. Pacific territory of Guam and beyond, forcing the Japanese government to issue evacuation alerts and halt trains. Some experts say the launch was its most provocative weapons demonstration this year as it pushes to develop a fully-fledged fully fledged nuclear arsenal capable of threatening the U.S. mainland and its allies with the goal of wresting concessions from those countries. Moving on to Iran, where protests over the death of the 22-year-old woman Mahsa Amini continue Tuesday on university campuses shown by videos circulating in social media and distributed by rights groups. Some videos also show shopkeepers going on strike in the city of Isfahan amid the biggest challenge to government rule in Iran in years. Widespread demonstrations were sparked by the death of a young woman, Masa Amini, while in the custody of the so-called morality police after she was arrested for not adhering enough to the Islamic, Islamic Republic's strict dress code. Iranian leaders accused the West, particularly the United States and Israel, of planning the protests ignited by the death of the 22-year-old woman. 